guys, Curl Blind Weave, I'm Aaron. I'm Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Ruby after a... Hell of a cliffhanger last time. Mm -hmm. Hell. Yeah, Jesus. where are her nipples? We don't know. Uh, maybe we can ask to find out, but do we want to use up the last wish? You no, already how, did. How many are there left? Two now? Well, uh, we're left. in the middle of one now, so there's going to be yeah. one left. Yes. Who is I've Salem? Been, he'd be lying. <laughs> he'd be lying a lot. Yeah, who is Salem? He's she, She's a girl in a tower. Mm-hmm. Yep. What's the relation to... Ozpin and all that stuff. I don't be like, know. We're going to find out soon. Is it oh, worth yeah. a wish? It better be. I think it is. <laughs> we'll know all be. the lies. We hopefully we'll know all the truths. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And... Rooster teeth. Scorpion Tail Man. Tyrion. And guy, Demolition Guy from Atlantis. The Disney movie. Now we know. No? It doesn't look like him? I haven't seen it. That's who we knew. Yeah. Good. Uh, that's who we saw last episode. Yeah. Thank you, Calvin. <laughs> we still don't know who that you is. Yes. I love how they all cover her basically as she's coming in. Finish him off! They're a team! Why can't we be a team? We're not a team. Time bomb. Let's say time bomb. What do you do? Don't do that. Stop. Locked away by her cruel father, Salem was a girl who desired but one thing freedom. Freedom! She lived in a time when kings and their kingdoms were plentiful. When men and women were capable of greatness, and magic was a gift from the gods that all could wield. Ooh. And yet wow. there she sat within her tower. Until one day, a legendary hero came to brave the challenges within the tower. Austin. Walls. The people of the land. Doesn't look like him. He's got his cane though. As Ozma. Ozma. Unlike those who had come before, this warrior was not driven by the prize of the young maiden's hand. He fought only for righteousness, and his pure heart and courageous soul prevailed. That's it, he's a rogue. They escaped the wretched fortress, and yet something bound them together. Ozma had been ready to give his life for justice countless times, but now saw a woman worth saving it for. And Salem, to her surprise, found her freedom not in the outside world she had yearned for, but in the eyes of the man that had saved her. So, where should we go now? Wherever you'd like. The two mm. fell deeply in love, planned adventures around the world, and lived happily ever after. Really? Or at least, that's what should have been. Ozma, the infallible hero of legend, fell ill. And then she and brought him back. And the beasts Magic. and blades of the world had fallen short. It's like a Captain Jack. A single sickness prevailed. <laughs> hmm. How could the gods let this happen? The gods, brothers of light and darkness, creation yeah. and destruction. Salem prayed they would see the injustice that had befallen her love and make things right. The domain of light was a sacred place. That gold. 
It was here the elder brother dwelled beside his fountain of life and creation. It was here where mankind would fall to ruin. Mr. Clean. With Amherst. Please. Please bring him back to me. I understand your pain, but you demand of me that which I cannot make so. Uh. Life and death are part of a delicate balance. So, you won't do it then? Brother will. To disrupt the cycle of. Th that's not fair. That's not fair! Let him rest. And she did. The end. Ooh, he teleported her. No. She's gonna go to his brother. Mm -hmm. Dang it. The god of darkness. <clears throat> Thought it'd be steps down. None dared to enter his home, as men knew what monstrosities emerged from his blackened pools of annihilation. I am no man. And so you must understand the Dark Lord's surprise when he found a lone woman kneeling before him. Yeah. Yeah. His back's all fucked up. Uh, Ten thousand years. I was gonna say, yeah. Back yeah. Salem understood it well. He creates a girl. She told him of her loss and professed that she knew only he could answer her prayers, all while careful to make no mention of his elder. Rise, child, and let your faith in me be rewarded. So again. When you 
first came to me, I did pity you. But it is clear now that your selfishness and arrogance have led you astray. What did you do to me? I have made you immortal. Immortal? You cannot die. You cannot be with your beloved. So long as this world turns, you shall walk its face. You must learn the importance of life and death. Only then may you rest. How's she gonna learn about Salem death? was a prisoner once again. Her fruitless attempts to reunite with Ozma eventually became nothing more than acts of spite and defiance against the gods. <laughs> the gods were not as powerful as they seemed. She had lied to them, turned them against one another. They were fallible. If she were to turn humanity against light and darkness, she could rid herself of their curse. Or at the very least, she could make them suffer. Mm. Salem traveled from one kingdom to another. Telling tales of how she stole immortality from the gods, welcomed any swordsman to cut her down, and demonstrated mm. her powers. With the kings and queens in awe, she pulled them deeper into her scheme. She painted them pictures of a time when they would no longer have to watch their loved ones wither and die. When they could claim the powers of their creators for themselves, and in turn perfect their own design. <laughs> destroy their old masters. The gods had hoped that Salem would learn from her eternal curse. And she did. She learned that the hearts of men are easily swayed. Who has led you down this path? Voices rising. It just happened. That was awesome. Oh, we oh, killed him! Yep. No. Do you thought there was no greater punishment we could bestow upon you? I'll come back. I'll tell the rest of the world of this massacre. Build a new army. You do not understand. There is no one left. You are all that remains of humanity. They killed them. He killed everybody. Oh, this planet was a beautiful experiment, but it is merely a remnant of what it once was. A remnant. We will learn from this failure. I hope that you will learn from yours. No. You can't leave. You can't leave. Come back. Still demanding things of your creators. Join the moon. That's why they, they left. They the moon. Huh. Okay. Uh, take cover. She can't die. Oh, I guess it's true. <laughs> She's like Captain Jack. Yeah. Once again, Salem was alone. She cursed the gods. She cursed the universe. The Grim. She cursed everything. Everything but herself. She wandered the face of the planet, awaiting a death that would never come. Until fate led her back to the land of darkness. This was it. This had to be it. The brothers grim, the pools of black that continued to give rise to horrific nightmares. If the fountain of life granted her immortality, then surely the pools of grim would finally take it away. Mm. Nope. She was wrong. That's how she gets her 
Fucked up side. This force of pure destruction could not destroy a being of infinite life. Instead, it created a being of infinite life with a desire for pure destruction. And in time, she would find her adversary. realms. I'm afraid a tragedy has befallen your home at the hands of my brother. We have chosen to depart this world, but in our absence, I would like to offer you the chance to return to it. I don't understand. Mankind is no more, yet your world remains, and in time, your kind will grow to walk its face once again. However, Without our presence, they will be but a fraction of what they once were. Creation, destruction, choice, and knowledge were the ideals upon which humanity was made. Now, I leave them behind with the hope that you may learn to remake yourselves. If brought together, these four relics will summon my brother and I back to your world. Huh? And humanity be judged. Oh. If your kind oh. has learned to live in harmony with one another and set aside their differences, then we shall once again live among you, and humanity will be made whole again. But if your kind is unchanged, if you demand our blessings while still fighting amongst yourselves, then man will be found irredeemable, and your world will be wiped from existence. Until your task is complete, you will reincarnate. Oh. But in a manner that ensures you are never alone. I'm sorry, but that world just isn't as dear to me without her. If I may, I'd rather return to the afterlife to see Salem. You will not find her there. You mean, she isn't gone? Salem lives, but the woman you hold dear in your memories is gone. Heed this warning. Where you seek comfort, you will only find pain. So, will you? I'll do it. Very well. Our creation <coughs> rests within your hands. And so, Ozma was reborn. <laughs> Oh, he just became that dude. Where am I? Oh, buddy. Swinging wildly. Here you go, Ozma. Start hunters. This is Kane. Thank you. Please, tell me your name. Who are you? found himself in a world completely unfamiliar to him. Hmm. Cities looked different. Creatures known as the Faunus bore fangs and claws and were locked away in cages. And without the blessing of the gods, no one could perform magic like mankind was once capable of. No one but himself and a woman known as the Witch. Oh. During his years of travel, he heard the same frightened whispers that spoke of a terrifying sorceress who commanded dark powers in the wilds among the beasts and monsters. Ozma was convinced that this witch was Salem and decided he needed to see what she had become. Oh, man. <clears throat> 
call it magic or call it something stronger. But in that moment, the two knew exactly who it was that stood before them. What do we do now? Whatever we like. As Salem and Ozma recounted the events which had brought them back together, each withheld parts of their story. Salem, fearing Ozma would reject her, blamed the end of the world on the gods. Ozma, still unsure of where the truth lay, kept his task and the relics a secret. Though time passed and all seemed well, Ozma's conversation with the God of Light still lingered in his mind. He had found happiness, but humanity seemed more divided than ever before. Are you surprised? This world is quite literally godless. These humans have no one to guide them. Perhaps that's all they need. What are you saying? We could become the gods of this world. Our powers surpass all others. Our souls transcend death. Yeah, and you make great we decisions. We can mold these lands into whatever we want. What you want. Create the paradise that the old gods could not. The hearts of men are easily, are easily swayed. It's so boring. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Spontaneously is something. I need to find the two a to follow. Yes. That following grew into a prosperous kingdom. And at the head of that kingdom blossomed a family. Oh, Four maidens. Yeah. Winter, fall, summer, and spring. <clears throat> Puppy. So he's the old wizard with the four maidens? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Left-handed man! Yay! <laughs> He's wrecking he fools. Away his magic Palantir! Are we sure this is right? You said we needed to bring humanity together. In order to do that, we have to spread our word. And destroy those who will deny it. What are we doing? <gasps> Whoa, that was cool. Mm -hmm. This isn't what he asked of me. What did you say? Mother! Father! Look! <laughs> uh-huh. It was a miracle. Their children could perform magic. But what should have been a joyous occasion was short-lived. Ozma told Salem everything. The true reason the God of Light had brought him back. The relics that lay scattered around the world and the day of judgment he had been told to prepare for. Don't you see? None of that matters anymore. Why spend our lives trying to redeem these humans when we can replace them with what they could never be? That doesn't sound great. <laughs> no. Uh... Mommy? Uh... She looks mad. This is like a horror movie right here. Yeah. <laughs> She's possessed. Run. Oh, Harry Potter. Kids gotta watch. Yeah. Jeez. In the grim. Neither of them can die, though. Yeah. Well, he can, but he's he, reincarnated. He, yeah, he's reincarnated. She just can't. <laughs> finally have freedom. Jeez. Thus began a long and painful cycle of death and rebirth for Ozma. <clears throat> Some lives were spent in mourning, 
Many were spent attempting to forget it all. But no matter what, his mind would eventually turn back to the task he had been burdened with. And as the centuries went on, Ozma began to learn the importance of living with the souls with which he had been paired. Mm. But no matter where or how he lived, her presence was always felt. If humanity were ever to stand yes. a chance of being united, one thing was clear. He had to destroy Salem. Knowing he could never rid the world of her through any mortal means, Ozma sought out the power of the relics. Armed with my knowledge, he believed he could fulfill his promise to the god. Wow, oh, cool. Where are the other relics? He asked me his questions. What powers do they possess? And though I gave him my answers... How do I destroy Sela? Not all of them were to his liking. You can't. <sighs> How does one destroy Salem? Maybe someone else can. Oh, Damn, man! Just oh. fucking hell of an info dump. Lore drop, man. Yeah, I that's like it. all of the other like, world oh, of remnants Lord! put together. It's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, the, that's the thing. Like there were, there were some world of remnant videos that covered like the light and dark gods yeah. stuff like that but I feel like a lot of that kind of stuff was covered in this here where yeah, it's like, here's the like story that you anything. need you know it's great I love it one god's dick could just went around the moon man what a <laughs> dark set of gods just yeah right yep, we failed kill it all yeah, well, it's all dead well he well, got angry the because one guy killed them all the other one just left yeah, wow. yeah. damage been done I'm leaving but how do they come back I don't know well Rick I don't know if you've ever heard a story about Noah's Flood <laughs> yeah. If, I mean, if, I, I if the they relics are brought to together, then that signals the people are ready to be judged. Yeah, the people. Well, have... uh, that's Ozpin's like signal. Now yeah. I'm ready. Now I, I. Like, it all rests people on are. him. Yeah, he ain't asked for this shit. You know. <laughs> no, you just want to save some girl on a tower. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to have sex. He didn't even want that. <laughs> he he <laughs> saved her because of righteousness, not because he wanted the hand of the woman. Well, yeah, this is all Salem's fault. Yeah. She couldn't let him go. I mean, do you have Eve, you have Pandora, you have mm -hmm. Salem. Yeah. Dude, the moment, the, there, <laughs> the moment there, whenever they had, like, the one god brought him back. He's like, where, where am I? What's going on? And That's the other sucks. guy came up and he killed him. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. He's gone. And then the guy from like, what's going on? And he killed him again, you know? Like, it's like, and then he brought him back. He's like, oh yeah, I made a mistake. The worst game of tug death. of war ever. Yeah, yeah. That would be like, he's the rope. So bad. Yeah, yeah he's the rope. You won't let me die. So does every version of resurrected Ozma have Oz in it? Yeah, probably. We have Oscar. We have Ozpin. We have Ozma. That's all we know. Ozmanapia. Really. That's not a point. Ozzy. Ozzy Osbourne. No, well, you could have Ozzy. You have Oz Osbourne. <laughs> you could have Osman. Man. Osman. So, Osmond. do you think there is any way to destroy Salem, or no. she's immortal? Does I, he need to bring the gods back? Even whenever he Probably did, he had to bring the gods back, and they have to be judged. The as gods, long as everybody else has a unified front against her. Maybe do you think Salem be has to be redeemed? The thing I was gonna say is that well, I think no. she has to be redeemed for for the planet to be living together. What were we saying? The right? gods gave her this thing for her to understand life and death. And yeah. then even whenever the one god killed everybody with that major blast, everybody. it didn't even affect her. So, I don't even know if at this point they can slash would kill her until she understands why she's been given this this uh, curse. Curse. You know what I mean? So, I don't think there is a way to defeat her until she understands. So, she has to be redeemed in order for things to turn out well. Or the rest of humanity can be judged against her. United her against her? Yeah. Yeah, the, you know. Well, but, they're not united right now. Watchmen. Oh, like, yeah. if you count the Faunus as humanity. Yeah, which you sh should. See, it's so weird. Yeah. Why? Like, okay, all humans was, was destroyed. Humanity was gone. Yeah. Somehow, humans came back. I assume they and evolved. And Faunus came, too. Because they weren't there before, right? No. They which all evolved, evolved from, from the what? creatures that were left. Yeah. Because How? we still saw animals and things. So it just... She was alive for so long. 
I mean, occurred, yeah. and then they just took Ozma and put him in a place where, okay, here, you'll just go here. She yeah, has to have been future. alive for... Or, because the gods are fallible, like, his extinction wasn't complete or something. I don't know. Like an un- or maybe... Un- uncontacted tribe in the Amazon. <laughs> back. Or maybe with the return of Ozma to the world, is like, hey, if you can get all of these people to live together in harmony and everything, then we'll come back and everything will be peachy again. Yeah. He went from God to headmaster in order to try to lead the world to peace. Did did you guys have at all any trouble hearing the the gods sometimes? It was... The mixing was really bad for me. I was like... The music 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 was pretty loud, Um, but I didn't have any trouble. The hardest one, I think, was maybe like the dark god, but I understood him okay. There was one, I mean, like... I forget what it was. Like he said something like, "Oh man," and then you went, "I don't, don't know what he said." I got it on I was trying so hard too. It's frustrating. I mean, I think I got it, but I don't think I missed anything really. I did. There was a couple times where I'm like, "What was he saying?" Yeah, okay, yeah. Fucking you can say I'm bad. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much you can get what he's meaning <laughs> yeah. from context. Phew. So the world had magic. It's all gone now, except for the relics and dust, I guess. And maidens. Do you th- I was thinking, like, whenever the moon was coming down, like, oh, I wonder if that's, like, the beginning of dust or something. Maybe. What happened to the maidens? Insane. Did they not all die in that fight? I don't Well, I mean, if it. they they were conceived while he had this, like, you know, power to resurrect, so maybe is there something, in, like, there, like, when they died, they were, or whatever, they were able to transfer their power on, right? Because that's what you do. You transfer yeah. a maiden's power from one person to the other. Sure. And it really makes you think of, like, how big of a deal it was when he asked Pyrrha to become a maiden, like to become one of my daughters. Yeah, that, you know, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, she, like you'll be forever changed. I wonder if they'll get like the soul of sure. his daughter as well. Would, would that be like well, paired as well? I don't think it's that. I don't, I don't think have... it's necessarily the same, but I think it might be related somehow. Because when Osborn comes into someone else, like that person's still there, right? Yes. Yep. It's the same way as, like, you know, that's the reason those kids had like magic is because their parents had magic. So what are, like, you know... you know Other what, transferable what, what, traits. And what did they get from Salem? Was it just magic, or did they get any... But what are like, semblances, just, if not magic? Are they, like, a remnant of magic? Must be. Hmm. I mean, everyone has, like, a Or maybe small, it's, like, the spice. Small ability. It's kind of how they talked about, like... I mean, like, you have dust now, and you have, like, you know, no one, not everyone just has powers and stuff, like magic the same way of shooting powers and stuff, but maybe they all have, like, little bits of stuff from whatever they came from. Like, yeah. it's got to be still there in the world. It's just Grimmer's still there. Anymore. anymore. Well, I mean, it's just a way of, you're just using, you're powering it by your spirit, right? Yeah. So, like, I guess the idea is that you have a spirit, and in this world, they've learned to use their spirit to power a, a power that everybody has as an individual to themselves. So I guess that's just kind of like a MacGuffin we have to... Like, it wasn't explained here. You know, and semblances. We'll do that, too. <laughs> you know? I wasn't sure they were ever going to explain the moon, but the way it broke was awesome. Yeah. yeah. That was really cool. The the dark god just... Moon, bitch! Yeah, that's exactly what he did. Way. Like, Dude, come on! <laughs> As soon as I saw the moon, too, I'm like, motherfucker, he's... Well, he, want, he wanted to destroy the world, too. Yeah. I was waiting for the moon thing to happen here. I thought it was going to be one of two things. My first thought was, like, oh, maybe they are on what is the moon, and mm. they're going to just destroy it, and they're going to go start some new stuff over next to where the moon is now. Sure. That's what I thought, too. But, no, it's just... But I do like, like, this world is now a remnant of what it once was. Like, oh, well, I like remnant. the world. Yeah. 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 Does the domain of light and shadow still exist on the world? Um, you mean the pool? Yeah. The pools? The pools. I mean, that's where she's getting her powers from. I mean, it, it right? must still exist. It's where she was Because she, after the destruction of the world, that's where she went to to yeah. get her dark powers. So, so still it, gotta it, be around. it must still be around. I mean, there she is over it now. Whether that's, you know, back then or yeah. later. And it looks like there's crystals around it, like dust crystals. I thought that she was near that area before whenever we saw her. Like, is that like where her palace is or yeah, something? Yeah, there's lots of grim be. and crystals yeah. and stuff, and I just imagine that she's there by where that dark pit I wonder where the is. domain of light is there. Well, Ozpin might have built a university around it. Like he, castle? He, yeah, he said he put, like, n- other protections for that particular relic. True. Mm. Okay, so the relics ultimately are like a, a sign for the gods to come back and judge humanity. But they also do some cool shit, too, because why not? Sure. You know? 
So does Salem want to... They are the things that humanity had, but were taken away from them. Does Salem want to gather them and destroy them? Gather them so they never bring the gods back, maybe. Cause she, well, yeah, because she was saying before that she didn't need the gods. Yeah. But yeah. is she wanting to gather them to destroy them that I'd way? Say so. Or, and destroy each one? Or is it... Because that's the only thing that threatens a, her. If that's the case, she just has to get one mm-hmm. and destroy it. That's yeah, because they all have to be together. Or is she a more sinister thing and she wants to summon the gods to let the humanity be judged and destroyed and then she's left alone like she normally is? Or is she just Maybe. wants to keep them away from Ozpin? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, but Maybe I mean, she doesn't want to be judged. I mean, her goal was to create Even a still. new thing that would be better and show why they were wrong, right? Yeah. Even still. Maybe she's trying to buy time. Ospin has had the relics. Yeah. He and still he, doesn't and he have humanity being as one, you know? So all she has to do is just keep it disrupted. It's also interesting. Like she's been doing. That Cinder is one of her daughters now, too, mm-hmm. kind of. Yeah. Because she said, like, you're integral to the plan. I'm, wonder, I'm wondering Yeah. If it, like, has something to do with it because only the daughters sure. can kill Ospin or something. I mean, we, there's there's still things there that were like, well, you know, what are silver eyes and all that stuff that we still, and the, the beginning think, of the new humanity is still a little murky too. Yeah, I think the best thing to say of like, the silver eyes and the the semblances and all that is just, it's remnants of what used to be there mm-hmm. that are still left on Earth. The magic that, that's just imbuing people yeah. as they're born. It's not that it's all gone because it wasn't that he destroyed magic, right? It's that like he destroyed humanity. Yeah. So, yeah. like, there could still be magic in the world, and it's just, this is what people are getting and gathering, yeah. and, but no one just has it and is born with it, ex- unless you are born with it, I guess. Yeah. Like, like the, the you daughter. have parents that have magic, and then they have... Yeah. Which, later on, then, I'm guessing Ozpin gives his... Doesn't he, like, give his magic to the maidens? Isn't that, That's what he is said. Is that a legend, or is it just because he That's had That's the legend. Four there kids. was a wizard that found four women and gave them power. But, I mean, but the power was his kids, and then he gave new... So it's just people. a legend, not yeah. that it's true kind sure. of thing, then? Yeah. yeah. The maidens were actually made by Salem and Ozpin. The legend was created as, like, well, here's kind of how they came from. Yeah. yeah. Because he doesn't want people to know all this. Yeah. Although I'm not sure why. Why he wouldn't want people to know all that? Uh, I can only assume he knows that. It's, Maybe to it's, keep people from trying to take the relics. Well, like because they're immense they're not, power, and we're not ready. Yeah, he It'll doesn't want people thing. worshiping him. Yeah, as yeah, well. that too. Like he wants the the old gods to come back and not be worshipped as yeah. one. I feel like this crew knowing about this is going to be better. I it's feel such like a, it's so. such a it's such a handy wish too because in this wish. They're like, what's he not telling us? Everything. This guy has a fucking a lot of shit he hasn't yeah. told you. Including wishes or, or questions I've answered before. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you didn't have to waste a wish. Like, oh, hey, how we beat her? You can't. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Right. They, or at least see he that. can't. That was a freebie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. Did he... I wanna, that's one of my wishes, actually. Tell me everything you've ever answered to people. Yeah. <laughs> You're the first one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Recreate every wish you've ever done before. Yeah, that'd be good. Because that's kind of like skirting around the I want infinite wishes, mm-hmm. you know, because it's least limited. Yeah. That would be pretty cool. You have to word it right, because you can't just say, like, what questions have you already answered? And she no. just tells you the questions yeah. and no answers. I'd be like, show me your Green Mist movie of all the questions. What word have you answer. ever spoken? Yes. Like, yeah, but what if you just, what if it's the opposite? And a, you just a, get, a, 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 the, 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 <laughs> what if you, you just get the answers without the questions? Without context? That would be to, terrible. I'll, Jeopardy. I'll, I'll have well, my... It would, be like the, real, it would be like that Jimmy Fallon thing, because like they yeah. do that like a shot glass thing. So like you either have to take the shot or tell us what the question was. Sure. But you have to give us the answer. Yeah, I get it. So that. it's like, well, uh, Jimmy Fallon ten years ago. Yeah. And like, wait, what? He's like, <laughs> He's like, what does that mean? What was that an answer for? What was the question? <laughs> yeah. Like, was it who, who do you hate the most? Who's your you know, or who who did you wish you could have banged, or you know, yeah. whatever? Like, it could so many questions it could have been. I, I'm just happy that it was a pretty comprehensive answer. Like, yeah, yeah there was none of that like bullshit genie kind of fuck you kind of thing. Sure, as much as you'd like that. Yeah. She's that was a very great episode, guys. If you want to watch more episodes that we do? Go ahead and subscribe. You get notifications for when we release new things like this on YouTube. If you don't want to wait? Go to Patreon. This is the hammer, and I'm the nail. Check out the links in the description for our merch. Thank you.